right. if you were black and you own black slaves, was that wrong? If you were white and you owned white slaves, was that wrong? If you were Chinese and you own Chinese people, was that wrong? If you were Russian and you own Russian people, was that wrong? If you were Arabic and you own Arabic people, was that wrong? If you was Indian and you own Indian people, that was wrong. If you were indigenous to America, Native Americans, and you had other than Native Americans as slaves, was that wrong? You are a natural born public speaker and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. Point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do with that? What oppress me? Just saying. So the CRT stuff? BS. About to get in trouble. People that had slaves that did not make them racist. Why? If you were born into a family as a little kid, which a lot of them did, a lot of little white kids, a lot of little black kids, a lot of little Indian kids. If you grew up and you already had slaves, and I'm not talking about a particular color right now. I'm just talking about slaves, period. If you were born and you had slaves, you did not look at those people as nothing different than somebody that works for you. Like if you have a job right now and right now, if you in America right now in today's world, if you are a CEO of a company. And you have all these people working around your empire and your family is actually on that empire. You know what I mean? If your family is part of this empire, when your kids are growing up, all they know is that daddy got these people that work for him. Follow me. These little kids, that's all they know is that daddy has these people that work for me. Little kids don't look and go, oh, look at these Negroes or look at these Indians. Look at these red people. Look at these yellow people. Look at all these. I hate them all. And they work for me and my dad. No, little kids, just all they know, they get up in the morning, they eat, sleep, poop and play. And daddy got these people working for them. And then if they end up growing up and seeing that this is the way of our life. And as they get older, this mindset kind of kicks in that these people be black, white, red, yellow, blue, pink, green. If these people always been there and always worked for our family, when I grow up, my dad is teaching me and my mom is teaching me that these people work for us and this is what they do. Then that child is being taught to do that. Right. So what I'm saying that for is this. If you are black, if you were black in that time during the slave trade and all that, the transatlantic and all that, if you were black and you owned black slaves, was that wrong? If you were white and you owned white slaves, was that wrong? If you were Chinese and you owned Chinese people, was that wrong? If you were Russian and you owned Russian people, was that wrong? If you were Arabic and you owned Arabic people, was that wrong? If you was Indian and you owned Indian people, that was wrong. If you were indigenous to America, Native Americans, and you had other Native Americans as slaves, was that wrong? So now, all of a sudden, when things start to get flipped and traded and all these things like that, and different races started owning different races and enslaving other races, it still was the same mindset that you were going to be using these people to carry out your duty. Now, the mistreatment of them, the, the, the terrible things they did, I totally get that. That is horrific. That is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. But my point is, the thing that was going on during that time in the world when it came to slavery, it was a normal thing. It never was about race. It was all about that almighty daughter. It was all about control. It was all about power. That's what it was all about. So that's why people get upset, because a lot of times it just displays ignorance. And I was once there. If you was to say something to me about slavery, I would instantly think about white people being bad to black people. I would just get like a one particular type of view of what slavery was. But what about all the good things? How they fought together with the, the Revolutionary War. George Washington had people that fought for him during these wars and all this that were black. You know, these different writers writing about different folks that was part of their camp that were black. They, were, they considered them to be heroes. People that actually end up having like huge turning points. You know, there were everybody talking about the one guy, you know, um, that rode and told that the Britons were coming. He wasn't the only person that did that. There were other black. There was another black person that did that same exact type of thing as well. So the question has to come down to why are these things being hidden from us? So I understand why CRT would be a theory if it's only based off of seeing things in one type of way. You can you can formulate a theory off of anything especially if you've only been shown one way if i've only been shown that white people seem to have it better than i do if i'm only been shown that white people seem to be better looking cleaner looking got the better jobs got the better cars got the better homes if somebody keeps on putting that type of thing in my head as i grow that's all i'm going to see that's all i'm going to be taught to see is white people are better 
They got it. They got they got they got it easier. They can get a job before I do. They're smarter. You know, they 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 don't have to struggle for none. They have privilege. And the reason why they have these things is because of privilege. Now, as I begin to grow and begin to look at the world around me, I'm going to be pretty much looking at things based off of how I was taught to perceive those things. That's what happens. You are taught to perceive things a certain way. And if you are taught to perceive things a certain way, when you go out in the world, all those things are going to look according to like people say, you find what you're looking for. If you want to make it seem like this world is just full of people that are just racist and these structures are in place to do nothing but benefit black people, then that's all you are going to see. So here it is again. That's why I say I understand where CRT is coming from, because CR, whoever is bringing up the theory of uh, critical race theory, I feel that uh, I just I just think that they were only shown one part of history. They weren't shown the overall American history. Not just white history or black history, all of it. Because if that's the case, then how come they are not talking about the fact that Indians owned black people? I'm talking about the indigenous people of America, the Native Americans. They owned black people. Matter of fact, they held on to black people a lot longer than what white people did. But nobody's talking about that. So what I'm saying there for is this. I understand it is complete, terrible, crazy thing. That happened to the indigenous people of America. It is. But at the same time, indigenous people, they had slaves over here too. indigenous people own black slaves. They owned white slaves. White people own black slaves. They own white slaves. White people own white people. They own black people. They own Indians. That was just the way of the world. That's how things were during that time. So now you got to ask yourself, how did we get to this point to where the main focus was on black people? What made the black race so special during slavery, during, you know, the emancipation, during what made us so special? You know what I mean? So reason why I say that is this. There came a time when Abraham Lincoln informed the Republican Party. Everybody knows how that thing where we had a civil war and all this. Bad things happen. White people were willing to kill white people to help free black people because White people were still inherently racist. And I guess that was just their way of confronting their racism is by wanting to kill other white people so that black people can be free. No. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh and help brighten your day, then you click right here. All right. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who i am first all right then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime i post a video all right peace